from a little hill. Gonna build a mountain. I hope I win. Hello guys and girls and welcome back to this next episode. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to start off in franchise mode, okay? I'm going to give you a nice little layout where I'll get you the money in and get the guest in and you get off to the best start possible in franchise mode. So let's go ahead and pause this. I am in sandbox mode at the moment just to show you um, an easier, easier way how to do things for me personally is to do it in sandbox mode but this does apply to franchise mode I've done it myself in franchise mode and at the end of this video I will pan to my current franchise where I've implemented these layouts what I'm about to show you now and created my zoo around this layout um, I hope you enjoy the video so let's get into it Right, first thing we need to do, we need to move this. This is movable in franchise mode. So if we move the front of the zoo, we don't want to delete it because it will cost us money. So let's just place it there. We can delete it when we have more money in the future. These trees, we need to move these away as well. Don't delete them or they will cost you money. We don't want to do that. We want to move the trees. If you want to select multiple things, if you click on this button here, multi-select, and the middle one, and then just drag, see how it selects a group of items to move. And that's much easier than doing it individually. So move these, and let's move that, move the rest of them. out of the way like that and the ones left right paths I like to use this path it's up to you whatever path you like the look of we press a line to grid we take them down and we start building out now I like to come out by nine from the start so this was the start here where the the ticket booths are so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine we'll fill it in this side we want to stick to four meter um pass guys and girls so basically two on the grid and that gives the guest enough space to walk around and have a look at things without getting overcrowded and then we want to go out five from here one two three four five five this side one two three four five again four meters so let's bring that back a bit to there and then we want to go up 11 from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven like so i think that's enough like 11 might be wrong let me just check Yeah, so maybe one more. Make that 12. And then we just go around and we join these points up like so. Make them all 4 meter paths. like this so we've got a nice little square here we've got a nice little entrance pathway here and then from here we're gonna go one two three four five and again one two three four five and the same on the other side and the reason why we're doing this is this is going to be our viewing area for our first habitats okay that's symmetrical and then we want to come out then doesn't matter how many you come out you just want 
This is basically pathing out your first two habitats and depends what animals you decide to purchase to put in those habitats, how much space they need. So make sure you check that out on Zoopedia. I'm just going to build a medium size habitat for now. Just path it out. We want to come down one there. Like so. Get that four meter path going again. All the way around. And we want to do exactly the same on the other side so it's nice and symmetrical. So how many did we go out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, unlucky number 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's delete that. So that's 6, I think. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. that look even? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's not. I like to keep it nice and symmetrical. It makes your part looking nice and neat. So we'll just map this out now like we did with the other side. Like so. And this is our mapped out first habitats. This is where habitats are going to go. Now, this box here, this box is basically going to be your kind of like courtyard front entrance area. Um, it's up to you what you have here. You can have a bridge with a nice pond underneath. Uh, you can have a water feature, a fountain, a waterfall, or you could have it um, all paved out and put your chairs and tables there for your dining area. It's up to you. All right. But from here, what we're going to do now is we're going to go up here and draw out a nice square. That should be large enough like so. Again, let's fill it out to 4 meters. And this next square is what I like to use as the next sort of like hub for your facilities. So your dining and your next generator and your water treatment and maybe your keepers up front in. Now, Let's go back to the start here. The reason why we cleared these trees off the side um, is because we're going to put the staff facilities here at the front entrance. And the reason why we do this is this entrance generates power, as you can see, if we go on the map. It's quite a wide radius, but it's free power. You don't have to build a transmit um, transformer. Transmitter, is it called transformer? I believe it's called a power source basically you don't have to build a power source to power anything in this area it's already powered by the entrance so we're going to go on paths we're going to go on staff paths align to grid we're going to come out a bit so we've got enough room to fit um, the facilities in like this and we're just going to go across At the moment, this is not meant to look pretty. This is getting the foundation in for the franchise. Once the foundation's in, then we can work on uh, making things look pretty and organised and neat and tidy. So, facilities. Staff facilities. We want to click on this entrance here 
to align it to the grid and just click on that we add it to that building we want to leave a healthy gap here we don't want it here we don't want it here we want it here so two space gap and the reason for this is if you don't already know this the facilities have a negative impact on the guest and there's a radius built negative impact into each facility building now you can reduce this by adding decorative items and walls and stuff but we won't be doing that just yet like we said before we're not looking to make things look pretty right now but we don't want that negative negative impact still so we'd leave that gap let's get a keeper sort in there we've got trade center let's get a resource resource center research center even can't get my words out today guys and girls i don't know what's happening with me honestly um what else do we need uh mechanic workshop this side will go with the vet surgery and the quarantine and staff room. Quarantine, staff room, that's all them in place. And what I like to do, like I said before, at the end, at the end of this um, little tutorial, I'll pan to my franchise do. And what I've done is I've carried on and made it look like these buildings are a part of this entrance. You'll see what I mean at the end. So we've got all our staff facilities in. Now we need to look into getting our guest facilities in. So guest facilities, let's get the information. I put the information here. So as soon as they come in, they can see it. Merchandise. Always put your, you put your merchandise shops at the front. Because that's where they'll absolutely rake it in for your franchise zoo. So I like to put it there. I don't put it here opposite because it gets too crowded. The both groups of people for both shops um, queuing up at the same path. So I like to put it diagonal, just like that. Just a moment. I love those little little little, t those little times where it just says just uh, whatever shop you put in gives you a little um, like a little ringtone, a little a little voice note. I love that. Right. Where was we? Sorry, bit off track then. So we've got them in. Food and drink. So we need chief beef. And this is what this area is for, remember? Drinks. What drinks should we have? Gluppy soda. We keep, remember, we're keeping all the buildings on this grid. It'll make it easier for us when we're building how our walls and decorative items later on so toilets where's the toilets they need somewhere to go to the toilet don't they uh you can put one here i tend to put um one here and i tend to put one at the start around here we'll just connect this to the path like so um and then let's just give you an example of what I like to do so if we come out here and fill this in a bit and then we do this and then with these areas here we can put in some lovely little benches as our little picnic um, like dining area for these shops here so throw in a bin it's up to you how, how you um, decorate it really So, and that's your basic little dining area for these shops here. Um, right, let's move on to habitats. Now, I don't normally use these barriers. I've got a video on my playlist in my Panic 2 playlist on my channel. There'll be a link um, down below in the description. It should also pop up at the end of this video. And basically, I use construction to build my habitat so I'll use the walls I will 
place the walls down has like so and then I would go along all the way around like you would do a normal habitat gate so I just think it looks better um, but for this basic tutorial of how to start franchise zoo I am going to use the normal barriers so we'll select the barrier try to go as close to the path as possible don't know why that won't play see the barriers in this game can be really fiddly and that's why I like to use the construction parts instead of the barriers it gives you so let's just go along here again it won't go down like so just follow the path what we've already pathed out place that there come in again place that there then let's go out and then what we're going to do here going to have a little curve by selecting this button here which gives us a little rounded curve to use instead of straight so we can go around these corners nice and neat like so let's bring that in a bit like that and then obviously we need our guests to actually be able to see our animals so let's click on this little windowed button here or we can change it to glass whichever you prefer I'm going to change it to glass and then we need to edit barrier again and we need habitat gate which I like to put around here we'll get the necessities for our habitat on the outside so we need um, what do we need need a screen right, so just put the screen on the wall I think it looks a bit more neater we'll get a speaker there the reason I put a speaker there is so it covers all this area there if we put it next to the TV it will only cover this corner if we put it in the middle it will cover this full viewing area here what we've created so that's that in uh, you could, then you can do what you want it's up to you customizable again add, add some add a bin blah 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 add some benches obviously we need the old donation box which we'll place two let's place one there one there now this end here i'll show you what i like to do a little tip so if we come out one more like this and then we delete the middle path like so deselect the grid and then we move up like this if we hold shift and move our mouse up it will create stairs hold shift again to make it flat align this to the grid get to here deselect grid place the steps on that side as you can see we're starting to form a little platform for another guest viewing area underneath we'll class a shelter for the animal which is nice and over the top becomes a nice viewing area for our guests and a good thing about this as well if we extend it this way as well like this so we can have another habitat on this side which has the same viewing area we would do exactly the same we've done here on this place what we mapped out so it'd be total symmetrical so you would have your two habitats you would have all your staff facilities which we have already placed there 
we would have our starting guest facilities here a little dining area here we would put a fountain in and then we would have our food and drink area here with a toilet also what I like to put here is the next transformer so I'll line it to the grid we'll get rid of that so we can actually see where we're placing it and I would place it bang in the middle there we can even add a water treatment like so we'll add staff paths straight staff paths like so so our staff can get to them if they break down and then if we click on this as you can see so towards the end of this power output what the entrances give us we have the new power output which it generates and creates a bigger radius just like so so that's basically everything this is how i personally start my franchise zoo no matter what franchise theme zoo i'm doing uh, it's very basic layout for you feel free to use any ideas you see in the video um, if you like this video drop a like subscribe if you want to see more um, yeah my name's Adam Up peace out